Hello, in this chapter we're going to make a new material and then I'm going to show you how to create a physics simulation. Uh, we have to recreate a material of the ground, so I took photo of the uh, bricks on the location. Let's open web browser and a normal map online generator. Uh, you can drag and drop your image. Uh, select on a spectacular and normal map. A uh, PNG format is fine. And hit download. And uh, now let's open our project in Blender. Uh, as you can see now, our floor is flat, so I'm going to add some thickness to it. Uh, let's open edit mode select rim and separate my selection now we have different object uh, we can change name of new object to thickness enter edit mode again and extrude to add some thickness to it uh, i'm going to create some nice uh, shape let's preview our render uh, now we have to change uh, visibility and this select shadow catcher to see our object. Now let's uh, create new material. On the bottom you can see how to open panel. Hit shift A to add new image texture. Connect color to base color open and select uh, your photo add another image texture uh, this time color to normal and now open image uh, created in normal map generator uh, change color space from sRGB to non-color enter edit mode of our object UV and smart UV project I'm going to rescale our texture to match with with original uh, floor shift A input Texture coordinate, connect to vector like this. Now shift A, vector and mapping. Now we can change scale of, of the image. Now hit tab to open edit mode again. And select only the rim. Uh, separate by selection. I'm going to change name to portal. Edit mode. Hit F3 to search and grid fill. Extrude. I'm going to change location uh, to level with our floor. Enter edit mode, select all, open UV and unwrap. Next we're going to use add-on called cell fracture. Make sure that you have installed this add-on. Open preferences, add-ons, search cell fracture and make it active. Now hit F3 with your object selected. Now you can see different settings in cell fracture add-on. I'm going to change source limit to 300. You can set this number to 
even thousand but it might take more time size is set to small and hit ok to start now we have multiple small objects to make things easier I'm going to add all of the debris objects to a new collection hit M on keyboard change name bricks for example and now you have new collection with with all debris objects you can hide portal object So now we have debris and we we want to add some physics to it. Right click on the collection, select objects, make one object active, select physic properties, rigid body, and we have to apply these properties to all of the debris objects. Open object, a rigid body, and copy from active. Set first frame on your timeline and hit spacebar to, for preview. Okay, it works, but I'm going to add some distortion to it. Shift A, force field and turbulence increase strength to 500 and now looks much better I'm going to render preview for you and now you can see how it looks at this moment in the next chapter I'm going to add some particles and smoke simulation That's all for today, thanks for watching and see you in next part.